In this module of the Microsoft Teams tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create a team within Microsoft Teams. Once we are signed into Microsoft Teams, on the left hand side we have the Teams module. This is the core functionality of Microsoft Teams. It's designed so that you can create a group or a workspace for a bunch of individuals to collaborate and keep track of all their communications for that project or bunch of projects. Once we selected Teams, now we have two options. We can create a team or join an existing team that someone else has created. In the case of an organization where there are many teams, you can also search for teams on the search box up here on the top right. To create a team, we simply click on Create Team and then give it a name. You can give it a description and then select whether you want this team private so that only you can add members or whether you want to make it public and anyone in your organization can join the team. So in this case, I want to make this a private team and then I click on Next. Next, we need to add the members to the team and we can search for these members by email or by name or any of those fields. In my case here, this is a live system, so I'm going to use some generic accounts for demonstration purposes only. So I'll pick here the online instructor account and you get the idea at this point, we are picking from the list of accounts and then we click on add. Next, you can specify the permissions for those particular members. So you can make them owner of this team or just a member of the team. Owner obviously would be able to invite additional individuals to the team. Then we click on close. Go under teams. Notice we have the distance education team. It currently includes only the three individuals, myself and the other accounts. You have the icon for this team and you can change this to have a particular picture for this team. To the right of the name of this team, we have these three dots where you can manage the team members. You can add channels and I'll go over the channels in a moment. So you can manage the team, you can add new team members, or you can leave the team, edit the team, or get a link to this team and then create tags or even delete the team from here. Right below the name of our team, we have these general options. In Microsoft Teams, there are what's called channels. Let's say you have a team that needs to work on distance education. There are general topics related to distance education, but then we also might need another channel for just to keep the conversation concentrated on course development for distance education. So those would be the separate channels, and I'll create a channel in a moment here. To the right of the, this particular team, now these would be the resources related to this team. So again, keep in mind, you have here the Teams tab, you go to the actual team, so you're going from left to right. And then on the top here, you have the general, you have the post, this would be the various posts where you can post the conversation for the rest of the team members have the files option that the team members are sharing. Then you have the option to add new tabs for your team members. And here you can add a variety of applications for this particular team. You can enable Microsoft Word or any of these particular applications to extend the tools that this team would need to complete their work. To add the task planner, all I have to do is select it and then I'll simply click on Save. So again, the idea is you create a team, you manage the members of the team, then within that team, you create various conversations or discussions. Now, this would be part of the general discussion for this particular team. If I wanted to make a quick post for the rest of the members of this team, so I have the posts area, and then I click here on New Conversation, so you could post a question here for other members of the team. And notice right below this, we also have the formatting options. We could add attachments, various emojis, GIFs, and stickers, add it to a stream, give a praise to a member. You could have approvals enabled, and a whole bunch of other options that you can integrate as part of your chat. 
to post this, we simply press send. And now this has been posted for all the members of this team. If I wanted to mention only a particular member of a team, then I could use the at symbol in front of their name. One of the nice features of using the conversation mode, the chat mode within the team, is that you can actually modify, once you send a message, you can further modify that message even after sending it. So let's say I send this and I want to edit it. I can go to the top right of this particular message and then click on the three dots here for, for more options, then click on edit and then tag someone else and then hit enter. And on the recipient's end, this will be updated. To add a file attachment as part of the post, type the message and then attach a file. We can attach a file by browsing Microsoft Teams, going to our recent files, or going to OneDrive, or simply upload the file from this computer. We navigate the file, we click on Open, and then press Send or hit Enter. Anytime we use files, any of the files that we have throughout our conversation as collaboration within the team, all of those files are going to be also stored under the Files option here next to General. So we are on the general channel for the distance education team. And even though I did not upload this file in the files area, if I click on files, the file that I just sent will be posted in the files area. So this is a really great feature that Microsoft is aggregating all the files throughout the conversations and embedding them as part of the documents area. From here, we could further edit this file by double-clicking on it, or download the file, share a link to it, or add a link to OneDrive, and so on. Since I added the Tasks module earlier, we can click here on the Tasks tab, and this was an add-on application. And from here, I could create a new task, for example, I can set a, a due date, and assign this to one of the members of the team and then click on Add Task. And then once that team member completes this task, I'll be notified about it. To just quickly summarize, we have the Teams module. We have the Distance Education Team. Within the Distance Education Team, we have the General Channel. Within this channel, we have the posts. We have a tracking of all the conversations, the files, on the top, we have a link to meet with this team, and we can click to schedule a meeting now or for a later time. If you want to make available particular applications for your team, such as Microsoft Word or OneNote, which would be very helpful for team meetings and so on, then you can click here on Add a tab and then select the application that you want to add. So in this case, I want to, let's say, add the OneNote application and make it available for the team members. It's going to be called the Distance Education Notebook. To remove an app that you either added accidentally or you no longer want in there, you can click on the drop-down next to the particular app that you added to your Teams channel, and then select Remove. Next, in the next segment, I'll go over how to create a channel and further manage your team within Microsoft Teams.